little is known about the fate of these lost tribes, but for 2,700 years, hope remained. Could the Israelites have regrouped? Could some have escaped their captors and fled? Could a group of wandering Israelites have survived the elements and continued on, faithful in some land far from home? The Lemba story goes like this. Thousands of years ago, they were forced out of Israel and settled in a place called Sena, which is believed to be the present-day Yemen. There, they lived as traders and craftsmen until war or natural disaster pushed them across the Red Sea and into Africa. Then began a slow migration south. Along the way, according to the Lemba, they built great stone cities. It's a claim that's fascinated archaeologists. Cultural identity is a social construct. No genetic data is going to tell you that you are Jewish or that you are Hindu or that you are Christian or any religious domination. Himla tells me that the presence of the Kohen modal haplotype can't tell us anything about the Lemba's religion. Yet just as remarkably, it can tell us where their ancestors came from. And it's not in Africa. There is this interesting genetic information showing us that some of the original founders did come from other parts of the world other than Africa. From our data, I would put my money on saying it's the Middle East. Himmler is convinced that Lemba ancestors did indeed come from the Middle East. We've seen how science has backed up the claims of the Lemba in the face of years of doubt and prejudice. The archaeological clues, the DNA evidence, and the Lemba's own oral history add up to a very convincing argument. It reminds me that first impressions can often be misleading. It was hard to believe that a tribe of black Africans could be the descendants of ancient Israelites. But that's exactly what they appear to be. Brother and sisters, they are there. We are not lost. We are scattered. We are original Hebrew. Hallelujah.